board of directors will be meeting today to discuss the agency's way of conducting fair inspections. Yeah, last week TriMet said it would continue the checks despite a judge's ruling that officers were violating people's constitutional rights. Elise Haas is live this morning with a preview of today's meeting. Elise. <laughs> Well, Jenny, when you use the TriMet system, you're expected to pay your fare. It is $2.50 for a one-way ticket for an adult, but we all know that many people just don't pay. So TriMet is trying to enforce this, but they've received a lot of flack recently in regards for how they're asking people to show their tickets. In fact, a woman was arrested earlier this year after she didn't show a ticket during a fare inspection. She was accused of providing false information to police involving her name, and despite a judge's ruling, Ruling that the agency violated her constitutional rights, TriMet said it will continue fair inspections. The ACLU says TriMet is walking a fine line here and they could get sued. Now, TriMet officials are meeting today and they're considering a revision to their code that explains their requirements to check fares. This is in an effort to clear up recent confusion following the judge's opinion in this case. And TriMet says the ordinance clarifies that they do have the authority to require riders to prove that they've paid. So TriMet says that you should be prepared to show your ticket when they ask. Reporting live in Southwest Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.